Welcome back. Good morning, everybody. The Dunedin Fine Arts Center's Wheels on Wheels program has captured the attention of judges in the Academy Awards for Nonprofits, the Be More Awards. The program's mobile approach to art has earned it a spot on the short list of six charities from West Central Florida vying for the Nonprofit of the Year Award. The Wheels on Wheels program is the brainchild of the Dunedin Fine Arts Center's Director of Youth Education, Mr. Todd Still, and we are very excited to have him in the studio with us this morning and he has brought some of the samples of what the kids have created. Thank you for coming in and congratulations. Thank you for having us. How do you feel being oh, a finalist? Well, if you had a couch, we'd, I'd be jumping up on it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, everybody's very excited at the Art Center. Right. Describe for us what the program is about, how it works. Well, the Wheels on Wheels program actually brings a pottery experience to the schools. Um, a lot of times uh, organizations or schools may not have the space to have a dedicated clay lab. So we have the school bus that's been converted into a mobile clay lab. Uh-huh, and how long have you all been doing this with the schools? Well, it came into being in 2015, but actually launched into the schools in 2016. And so we've been through entering our third season with the bus. So each year, how many children would you say get to go through the bus, get to go through the program? Well, the first season we are, did over 700. And then this last season, it was over 800. Wow. And then we're projecting we're going to surpass that this season. How, what is it about the program that you think really um, teaches kids not just to work with clay, mm -hmm. but about life in general? They are learning so much more than just making something. Well, the, the crux of the program is an experience. Mm -hmm. And so instead of thinking, we're going to come make this product, um, they learn how to use the wheel, they walk through steps, so they end up with something. So the process is what's very important. And so when you're going through the process and learning a process, some things work, some things don't. So there's a lot of troubleshooting, there's a lot of fine motor skills, there's, uh -huh. it's almost endless. And we bring in math and science to it as well. So how long do the kids get to go from, you know, the beginning lump to the uh, end? <laughs> Well, it's a two hour session. We can do 24 children at a time. We have 12 electric potter's wheels inside the bus. And so 12 are inside learning how to do that with me or one of my wheel instructors. And then we have 12 outside the bus that are learning how to do the coil pot and the pinch pot monster mouth. And then after an hour, we swap. So they get to do everything. And this is something that the kids can enjoy for free. You all do this at schools for free. Mm, well, we have a, a grant from the Pinellas Community Foundation, which allows us to go into, uh, of course, with a, with a program like this, there is fees involved with it, mm -hmm. but it's very nice that the, the foundation has supported us to make this available for free. Wonderful. Through the Pinellas County Schools. Well, good luck. You are one of the six. What an honor mm -hmm. that your brainchild, your program that you created, is mm -hmm. uh, catching the attention and the imagination of judges at the Be More. Congratulations. Being a finalist is a big deal. We'll certainly be rooting for all of you Great. Thank at you. the Be More Awards. If you would like to learn more about the Be More Awards and all the finalists, you can join us there on February 22nd. You can visit them online at wedu.org slash be more. Closed captioning is brought to you by Lakeland Toyota. Save more on I-4.